You may have seen reports in the mainstream media recently regarding a study published on the 8th of June, where supplementation with amino acid taurine resulted in quite remarkable lifespan extensions in various species. Now, I've just finished analysing the study, so I'm not going to provide you with all the relevant facts, so that by the end of this presentation, we'll hopefully be able to conclude whether or not taurine supplementation is likely necessary for humans to experience maximum lifespan and health span. But before we take a look at the study, let's first talk about what taurine actually is and why it's so important to human health. Now, taurine is commonly referred to as a conditionally essential amino acid, which basically means that although we can produce it in our bodies, under certain conditions, such as stress or illness, we may not produce enough to meet all of our functional needs. Taurine is also one of the few amino acids that are not incorporated in protein synthesis. However, taurine is present in nearly all mammalian tissues, and it's the most ubiquitous free endogenous biomolecule in human cells. So yes, it is rather important. And it has multiple roles in the body, including supporting immune health and mitochondrial function. A multitude of studies have already demonstrated that taurine functions in many beneficial ways including defending liver cells against free radicals and toxins, promoting cardiovascular health, and regulating cell volume, electrolyte balance, and insulin resistance. Maintaining optimal taurine levels also promotes the integrity of heart muscle cells, as well as protecting retinal and inner ear cells from damage by normalizing the flow of calcium ions that they require for proper function, thereby supporting both hearing and healthy vision. In Japan, back in 1985, taurine was first approved as a treatment given to heart failure patients. And since then, accumulating studies have shown that taurine supplementation also protects against pathologies associated with mitochondrial defects, such as aging, mitochondrial diseases, metabolic syndrome, cancer, cardiovascular diseases, and neurological disorders. Our body produces a small amount of taurine in the liver from the metabolism of cysteine. However, under certain conditions, it may not produce enough to meet all of our body's functional needs. This is compounded by the fact that taurine levels decline rather dramatically with age. In fact, by the time we reach our 60s, we're only producing one third of what we made in our youth. Not only that, our ability to utilize taurine efficiently also declines, so in theory, more is required. It would therefore seem sensible that in order to maintain optimal taurine levels, it should either be topped out from the diet, supplementation, or both, depending on your needs. If you're planning to get your taurine from food, then it must come from either meat or seafood, since plant foods don't contain any, although red algae is an exception. And although taurine is commonly thought to be present in lesser amounts in eggs and dairy, a study which I've linked to in the video description found that no taurine at all was present in either of these foods. The typical American diet provides around 400 milligrams of taurine per day, while those following a vegan or vegetarian diet will only be consuming trace amounts. So although we're all potentially at risk of taurine deficiency in later life, it will be those following a vegan or vegetarian diet that have the highest risk. Unless, of course, a taurine supplement is regularly ingested. We'll discuss dosages and the best taurine supplements shortly, but first, let's take a look at those exciting findings of the study that's brought us here today. The study in question was first published earlier this month on the 8th of June in the highly respected journal Science, and it sought to demonstrate that decline in circulating taurine is a feature of aging in multiple species, including humans. It's already well established that taurine levels decline by around 80% over our lifetime, so it would seem logical that supplementing might be a benefit. And as we'll see, that's exactly what the study found. The researchers observed that supplementing with taurine from middle age increased median lifespan by 10 to 23% in wild type C. elegans worms and by 10 to 12% in wild type mice. In mice, administering taurine was also associated with improvements in strength, coordination, and memory, as well as attenuation of multiple hallmarks of aging, including cellular senescence, mitochondrial and DNA damage, and chronic inflammation, or inflammaging as it's now commonly termed. 
The study also found that in middle-aged monkeys, six months of taurine supplementation led to positive effects on bone health, metabolic phenotypes, and immunological profiles. While in humans, decreased circulating taurine in people with obesity and diabetes was noted. Interestingly, levels were elevated by exercise, which only serves to strengthen taurine's correlation with general health. So what exactly causes taurine deficiency during aging? Well, it would appear that the loss of capacity for endogenous synthesis is a driving force here. We know that the majority of taurine synthesis takes place in the liver, and previous study data confirms a decrease in hepatic taurine production with advancing age. Interestingly, the study found that although taurine supplementation didn't affect food intake in mice, it still caused a small decrease in body weight, which of course would indicate a calorie deficit. This was reinforced by the fact that energy expenditure was indeed found to be higher in taurine-treated mice, and intestinal transit time was also accelerated, although it wasn't clear if there was any reduction in nutrient absorption. The study also recognises that one mechanism of action for taurine is an increase in antioxidant capacity. And that although oxidative damage is not clearly linked to mammalian lifespan, it does play a role in many age-associated pathologies. It was no surprise then to find that in those mice treated with taurine, there was decreased oxidative damage to DNA and increased resistance to oxidative stress. Ultimately, whether taurine supplementation can significantly influence human longevity is still not clear. However, what we can be rather more sure of is that taurine supplementation will very likely benefit several hallmarks of ageing in adults, with the level of benefit likely correlating with the level of deficiency being treated. Although the optimal dosage for taurine supplementation in adults for the purpose of life extension is yet to be established, going by previous human study data, I would suggest that depending on your age and dietary habits, anything in the region of 500 milligrams to 3 grams daily would be a sensible dosage. An adult in their 30s or anyone consuming high levels of meat or fish daily is unlikely to need to supplement with more than 500 milligrams daily. While those of us aged 50 and over may benefit from one gram or more. However, I can't imagine anyone requiring more than three grams daily, unless using it for sports performance purposes, where three to six grams per day is commonplace. Now I'm 63, and I currently take one gram of taurine per day in supplement form, plus I also get taurine from my diet, or whatever amount my body is still making. As I'm sure you're probably aware, taurine is a common ingredient in sports drinks, with the most popular brands containing around a thousand milligrams. However, I don't recommend that you get your taurine this way, since many sports drinks also contain ingredients which may be undesirable with regard to health optimization. And lastly on the subject of dosage, a previous long-term human trial using 10 grams of taurine per day for a period of 6 months found the supplement to be both safe and side effect free. However, as with all health supplements, if you're pregnant, under the age of 18, or have a medical condition, then always consult your doctor before taking taurine or any other health supplement. Taurine is available in both capsules and pure powder from several well-known brands. Where capsules are concerned, my top pick is from Kirkman Labs, as theirs was the only taurine product I could find that didn't contain any fillers. If opting for powder, then those are generally pure and filler-free, and my top choices are from Now Foods and Life Extension brands. As always, I've provided links to the products mentioned in the video description and I've included discount codes wherever possible. Many thanks for watching and if you haven't already done so, then click that subscribe button to keep up with all that's new in health and longevity. And lastly, as always, take care, be healthy and see you again soon.